Hello, so today we're going to be talking about Game Boys and most importantly, Little Sound DJ, LS DJ. I've mentioned it a load in videos before. There's a few links below to videos about it from a fair few years ago. Well, I was on Johan Kudlinski's website the other day and I found out that I'd missed a very important update, a very important update indeed. This is nothing to do with the proper version of LS DJ. This is the Arduino Boy LS DJ, the MIDI out LS DJ. I've spoke about it in videos before. It basically gives you the ability to use a game Boy to control other instruments via MIDI. So instead of using the Game Boy as a synth or the sound source like in a load of the other projects I've done, this uses the Game Boy to control other things. It's a really cool idea and at one point I was planning to use the Game Boy LSDJ to sequence the synthesizer live instead of using things like that. But the issue at the time was that there used to be a bunch of bugs when you played it. Sometimes it would forget to play a note or sometimes it would forget to stop a note and it kind of made it all sound a little bit naff. It would miss a kick drum every so often. It was a little bit frustrating. But I kept on messing around with it way back in 2019 when I went to the Toman Synth Reactor. I took this Game Boy along with me. Me. And I modified it with the idea of playing a bunch of the synths that were at Tom and Synth Reactor with the Game Boy. The problem was the Game Boy wasn't working, much to my dismay. So I got it out yesterday, took it apart and found out that the Arduino just wasn't responding anymore for whatever reason. I think it was down to the fact that I didn't put any current limiting resistors on the LEDs for some stupid reason. So this is the old Game Boy uh, that I had. It had a wire sticking out the bottom. It's kind of stupid, a MIDI cable coming out the bottom instead of a converter, but it is what it is. This is the mode button for the Arduino Boy. There's a few LEDs sitting there and stuff, so you can change through the modes of the Arduino Boy. Uh, it doesn't seem to work. Oh yeah, it's because it's unplugged. But yeah, we'll open it up. The problem is, is uh, the Arduino doesn't seem to want to respond anymore for one reason or another. We could A, figure out the actual problem, or B, just replace it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna get all the wires from this Arduino, pop them over into this one, slide it back in, and we'll be back on our way and making some music. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug it into something and try out the LSDJ update that might hopefully, fingers crossed, be a little bit more stable and won't drop notes. Right, so we've got the latest version of the Arduino Boy LSDJ. It came out at the end of last year, so been sleeping on it for a while. We're going to start by plugging the Game Boy into the input of the modular synthesizer and we're going to see if it's a bit more stable. Start by turning the Game Boy on and you'll see that it's got the uh, Nintendo sign. Nintendo screen. It's gonna try and get the screen as best as I can for you to see, but it's got one of the original screens with the backlight in it, so it's not one of the uh, easier ones to see. But hopefully, with any luck, oh, oh, I've got to change the mode. Mode one, mode two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it? Oh yes. So right now I'm playing A over and over again, and that's sequencing one of the synthesizers in the modular synthesizer. Let's uh, sort out the octaves a little bit. There we go. So if you're not aware, there's four instrument channels on LSDJ on the Game Boy. So you've got two square wave channels, you've got a wave channel that can be a square wave channel or it could be like for samples and things like that, and you've got a noise channel. LSDJ lets you use those to make music with, but when it's controlling MIDI, the first channel is MIDI channel 1, MIDI channel 2, MIDI channel 3 and MIDI channel 4. So right now we're going to add another pattern um, onto MIDI channel 2 now, and I'm just going to try and do exactly the same and just um, program another another note set. To test how solid this is, I'm gonna make a harmony of the other synth. So we've got two synths playing now. There we go. So we're now gonna test the stability with uh, three synths playing at the same time. By playing a harmony. So we've got another channel. There's some quicker ways of doing this. I've just done a little bit ropey on uh, LSDJ right now. There we go, it's working.
so with the older versions you would already hear kind of buggy notes kind of not always playing but the new update for the Arduino Boy LSDJ really seems to play it stably 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 st really stable let's uh, speed it up and see if it keeps on playing stable shall we Okay, we now know that it is really stable to work with now. I'm gonna try and program a song really quick using this and this, and I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> It doesn't really work exactly the same as LSDJ that you're used to, so it does take quite a bit of getting used to. Right, let's carry on. So I've bashed together a couple of different bits, a pretty simple song. I found that if you do play too many notes, it starts getting hung up again. So when I was doing this bit down here. Because I've got all of the settings on the synth up for this one. So let's, uh, let's jump through this really quick. So it's got a couple of different parts. It's quite slow. There's the main riff that's just here. And then we've got um, another synthesizer that does a harmony of that. And then there's a busier one that does a Linkin Park style synthesizer in the background. So um, nice and quick and easy. And then there's a couple of drum tracks. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a go, shall we? You can still get hold of USB or SD card uh, game cartridges for a Game Boy. You can plop it in with LSDJ on there. All you need to do is go over to Johan Kedlinski's website, drop a donation, and then download LSDJ. And then building the Arduino Boy, you don't actually need to build it into the Game Boy. This is just an idea I did way back when. I've built a fair few different Arduino Boys. The ones that I usually do are in a separate box. You wire them into the transfer port. The link to the Arduino Boy and LSDJ is, of course, below. If you've ever done anything with Arduinos, it's pretty straightforward. The thing is that this is not the only thing that this would be good for, this setup. For instance, you can still use it as normal LSDJ, not in this one because I haven't got any audio output, I was merely using this one as a controller. But let's say you have a MIDI powered light show. Well, you could write a bunch of songs on LSDJ on here, use all of this functions because there isn't slide and stuff that you can send out. And I don't think you can make pitch bends on the MIDI coming out, but you could program it all and then make MIDI sequence lights coming out of here. 
and that might work a lot better because those are probably not as important because you'll notice when there's a random bug in here you'll notice a note missing or a bass drum missing on the synthesizer but if it's a light show that is controlled by the synthesizer in time with the Game Boys well that might not be as noticeable if there's one light that every so often doesn't turn on. But of course you can use this to control a load of other things. I've got one specific MIDI controlled machine that I have in mind that we're going to be controlling with this within the next video. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one when we're going to do this again, but on another MIDI controlled machine. Have a guess what you think it is below. I've made a longer version as a song of the jam at the end that's available and downloadable over on Patreon. There's another couple of songs that I've been putting up there in the last couple of weeks as well. And needless to say that helps support all of these videos and projects. But yeah, anyway, till next time, this is a Game Boy. This is Synthesizer, the blue, the blue, the blue.